Hey mama, in this video I'm talking baby medicine kits. Everything that you need to keep in your baby's medicine cabinet so that you are fully prepared the first time that they get the sniffles, gas, or their first diaper rash. I'm Katie Huey Harrison, founder and editor-in-chief of Undefining Motherhood. We're an educational site and community where we come together to give you all the information that you need so you can make informed, confident decisions and feel empowered to do this mom thing your own way. Today I'm talking to you about your baby medicine kit and I am so excited to help you go beyond that basic first aid kit that you're able to buy at the store and get everything prepared so that the first time something goes a little bit wrong with your baby, you can handle it. We've been talking for the past few weeks about your new mom survival kit and how I have a better way. What we're doing is we're creating stations around our home so you can access what you need when you need it so you can rest comfortable and feel confident that you are prepared. You'll likely buy a first aid kit that comes with some of the basic first aid necessities for baby like a nasal aspirator and a thermometer. But there are other things you wanna make sure you keep with that first aid kit so that the second your baby gets their first rash, their first fever, maybe you have to clip a lip tie unexpectedly and they're in pain, there are things that you can do. Now remember, if you are not using our Expecting and Organized Planner for pregnancy and new baby, all of this information is in here in detail. You can understand what you need in your stations, how you use everything, plus hundreds of pages of other important tips, checklists, and tricks that you don't know you need to know. Don't worry, I linked it in the description below. Now, a question that I have never gotten, but I'm gonna answer it anyway, because I answer it in all of these Mama Baby Station videos, is why do I need a new baby medicine kit? Seems obvious, right? You need a new baby medicine kit because when something goes wrong with your baby, the very last thing that you want to do is have to go to the store with an unhappy baby in tow to get supplies that you could have easily already had on hand. The great news about a baby medicine kit is that everything in it is totally shelf stable. So you can go ahead and create it now and then it's ready whenever you need it. Where should you put a baby medicine kit? I put mine in my baby's medicine cabinet, which is in the bathroom that the baby uses for baths. Now, obviously this depends on your home, your setup. All that really matters is that you can get everything together in one place. You're gonna remember it and you're gonna be able to access it easily. And of course you don't want it on any low shelves if you have pets or children in the house. One thing I recommend going ahead and doing is choosing the brands that you wanna use. Talk to your potential pediatrician or your definite pediatrician whatever you need to do to make yourself feel better. I personally stick with name brands for major medications. I know parents who much prefer some of the other brands like Highlands or Little Remedies. So figure out what's gonna work best for you. I will speak in name brands, but there are things that you can use to supplement for all of them if that's your choice. So what do you want in your baby medicine kit? Well, you want a few things. First, infant Motrin, or something that you can give your baby for pain. Second, infant Tylenol, or something that you can give baby as a fever reducer and also a pain medication. Third, and stay with me on this one, children's liquid Benadryl. You cannot use it with baby right out of the gate, I know. And if you look at the label, it's actually gonna tell you that you can't use it for a very long time. But a lot of pediatricians do recommend using Benadryl and having it on hand once you start introducing baby to solids and to new foods. So I recommend having it talking to your pediatrician before you ever give it to baby, long before you ever give it to baby. And one thing you wanna ask for is a dosage chart. So the pediatrician can tell you based on your baby's weight, here's when it's appropriate for you to start using Benadryl. And if your doctor has any reason to suspect allergies, you can talk about a plan for treating those if they come up before you start introducing baby to solids. A few items that are not name brand medications, but that new moms swear by that are great for your baby medicine kit. Gripe water. Gripe water is something that helps calm gas and reflux in babies. It doesn't work for all babies, but it's really great for a lot of them. So it's something that I suggest keeping on hand and trying just to see if it helps you. 
Another thing that a lot of moms I know and also pediatricians I know swear by are gas drops. So get baby gets fussy a lot because they're gassy and they have a lot of air in their stomach and they're just having trouble working it all out. Babies with gas often benefit from gas drops. Moms swear by it. I again recommend trying it, asking your pediatrician about it, and seeing if it's a fit for your child. Then we're going to get away from the medications and supplements. You might want to supplement with certain vitamins. Talk to your pediatrician before making those decisions. A few tools that you really want to have in your kit. One, a thermometer. A lot of people love ear thermometers for a baby. I like a forehead thermometer. Honestly, if I really need to know a temperature, I'm just gonna use a digital thermometer and take it rectally. Having different types of thermometer or if you just wanna stick with the rectal route because it's easy, make sure you have whatever you need in that basket. Now, two other tools that I really recommend keeping in this basket. Both of them are made by Frida Baby. So if you watch the postpartum basket video, you have seen that I'm a big fan of Frida Mom and Frida Baby products for after birth. They just have us covered in a way that 10 years ago did not exist, less than that actually. So two products that they make and I personally adore are the Nose Frida, you can get the nose Frida in a manual one where you just suck snot from your baby. There is a filter so it doesn't get in your mouth, but a lot of people find that to be really gross. So they've also come out with an electronic option that will get that snot out for you. The other is the Wendy. You put the Wendy in your baby's rectum and you're able to then help them extract gas. I don't know how it works. I just know it seems to. So I suggest it. And finally, diaper rash creams. When baby develops a diaper rash, you don't want to have to go scouring for creams, figuring out on the internet what you're supposed to use, asking your pediatrician and waiting for the nurse to call you back. Having all of the creams ready at your disposal is going to make life so much easier. Here are the ones I recommend having. Polysporin, Aquaphor, Clomitrazole, which is basically athlete's foot cream, hydrocortisone cream, and a cream called Calmaceptine. Now, if you want to know exactly how to use each one of these creams based on my experience with a baby who had diaper rash all the time and needed all the creams at different times for different reasons, check out Expecting and Organized or our private group Undefining Pregnancy where we have a cheat sheet for all of this information. Be sure to download my free Getting Ready for Baby bundle and also tell me below what was the most used item in your baby medicine station? Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you have found this helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Next up, we'll cover the two remaining stations in your new mom survival kit, mom snacks and breastfeeding. Thanks for watching. Bye.